when the area and the square units of an expanding circle is increasing twice as fast as the radius uh, in linear units what is the radius so the choices are 1 over 4 pi 1 1 over 4 and 1 pi the area of a circle is given by the formula is a equals pi r squared The expression for the rate of increase of area with time is dA dt. dA dt is equivalent to 2 pi r dr dt. Okay, and this expression comes from the taking the derivative as the area of a circle. So if you take the derivative of the area, the two is going to come down. This is the power rule and you get two pi r to the first power because the power rule says if you have to subtract one from n and being two in this scenario and whenever you take the area of a circle in terms of its radius, you always have to indicate the r dt. That lets you know the radius is the feature that changing hands the area is changing okay so in the question stem we taught that da dt da dt is equivalent to 2 dr dt and that's expressed when it's, when it says expanding circle is increasing twice as fast as its radius so this da dt indicates the expansion in the question therefore you can set 2 dr dt we can set that here 2 dr dt is equivalent to 2 pi r dr dt. Uh, and notice that the dr dt is cancelled out. You can also do, what you can also do is bring the 2 pi r over the left hand side um, and you get that that the radius is equivalent to 1 over pi. So the correct answer is D. For what value of k will x plus k over x have a relative maximum at x equals negative 2? So let y equals y equals x plus k over x. To find the relative maximum, I'm going to use the first derivative test. First, I'm going to rewrite the second term in power form, as you know. 1 over x equals x to the negative 1. And k over x equals kx to the negative 1. Now, I'm going to use the power rule to take the derivative of y, which is equals to y prime equals 1 minus kx to the negative 2. Now put y prime equals to 0. At a relative maximum, the first derivative equals to 0. Now we're going to write 1 minus k over x squared equals 0. Okay, so put x equals negative 2. 1 minus k over negative 2 to the power of 2 equals 0, which will give us, let's write this here, 1 minus k over 4 equals 0. And then 1 equals k over 4. Now we need to multiply both sides by 4, so this will be cancelled, 1 multiplied by 4, which is 4, so k is equal to 4, this is the final answer. Uh, the radius of a circle is decreasing at a constant rate of 0.1 cm uh, per second in term, okay, so we're being told that dr dt is equal to negative 1 tenth dr dt equals negative one tenth or negative 0 0.1 uh, 
In terms of the circumference C, what is the rate of change of the area of the circle in square centimeter per second? So we have a, a circle which is A equals pi r squared. And we know that dA dt, dA dt is equal to pi times pi times the derivative of r squared, which is 2r dr dt. What the question writes are looking for here is for you to convert this circumference. Uh, we know the circumference is pi times so let's write this one here. The circumference is equal pi times the diameter. And the diameter is twice the radius. We can say pi r, which is exactly what, what we have right here. Uh, so dA dt is actually the circumference times dr dt. And we told that dr dt is negative one tenth. Negative one tenth. Times the circumference. Which happens to be b. Let h be a polynomial function and let h prime its derivative be defined as h prime of x equals to x plus 2, x plus 1, x minus 3. At how many points does the graph of h have a relative minimum? So let's start. The first step is to find the derivative, which is already done. So let's move to the next step, which is to find the value of x so as we can see we have three brackets so we have x plus 2 equals to 0 we swap the place of 2 to the other side so x will equal to negative 2 then for the next one x plus 1 equals to 0 so we swap the place of 1 which will give us x equals to negative 1 then we have x negative 3 x minus 3 equals to 0 we swap the place of negative of minus 3 which will give us x equals to positive 3 so then as you can see we have three critical points so we start drawing the line Here we have negative infinity and here we have positive infinity and let's put our points here we have negative 2 negative 1 and positive 3 so as you can see we have four intervals so first let's get a number from negative infinity to negative 2 let's use negative 3 so we need to plot negative 3 in the function above which is so h prime of x equals to negative 3 equals to in brackets negative 3 plus 2 in other brackets negative 3 plus 1 and negative 3 negative 3 so we can do it by using our calculator which will give us an answer of negative 12 so at that point the line will be decreasing then a number between negative 2 and negative 1 negative 1.5 so the same step negative 1.5 and we do it in the function above and 
negative 1.5 plus 1 and we have negative 1.5 negative 3 let's use our calculator The answer will be positive 9 over 8. Positive 9 over 8. So the, at that point, the graph will be increasing. Then, a number between negative 1 and 3. Let's use 0. So, h prime x of 0 equals to 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 1 and 0 minus 3 so let's use our calculator again and the answer will be negative 6 so the graph will be decreasing at that one so now a number between 3 and positive infinity let's use 4 so h on 4 equals to 4 plus 2 4 plus 1 in bracket and 4 minus 3 let's use our calculator again 4 plus 2 4 plus 1 and 4 minus 3 We'll get an answer of positive 30. So the graph will be increasing at that point. So then, at how many points does the graph of H have a relative minimum? As we can see here, we have a relative minimum, and here we have a relative maximum, and here we have a relative minimum. So as we can see, we have two relative minimums. So let's check. 